Today I want to talk about feedback. <laughs> Look at that. Whoop. Everybody's already grabbing these and counting. on the dance floor. Never so clear something and I want more. And I know I'm not the one you asked. So ever since coming back from Uganda, I've been working on either wedding videos or uh, corporate videos, commercial videos different things here and there to kind of just pay the bills and I uh, I've gotten some feedback over those and I've developed my three rules for how I receive feedback rule number one it's not about you feedback is not directed at you you're tacky and I hate you okay you see me after class people when giving feedback whether it's for projects or whether it's for you know, personal feedback, it's never directed at your character. What? I feel like when I'm working on a video or when I'm, you know, putting my whole heart into something, I put my whole soul into it. So when I feel like someone's like criticizing, it hurts because it feels like they're criticizing me and all the work I've been put into it as if it's not enough. But no, they're, they're not criticizing me as a person. To criticizing the project. The project and me are two different things. Check this out, I just invented it. Super straw. Hey, what time is it? Oh crap, I gotta go to work. Number two, things are not what they seem. Things are not what they seem. Humans have the innate ability to put two and two together really well. In fact, we put two and two together so well that usually two and two aren't actually there. I know you've experienced when you see something happening, maybe you overhear a conversation, and then BAM! Conspiracy theory, the whole world's falling apart and it's all against you, right? It's like, it's our natural evolutionary ability to protect ourselves. Nothing wrong with it, except when it comes to our mental health. Leslie, I, I typed your symptoms into the thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. So I should not jump to conclusions about what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, something is different about my computer. Aha! It's gone. Okay, so last little tidbit before I walk into work here. And number three is you are the expert in the room. How can you add value? You add value to people. You do something, you teach them, you give them an insight, you give something valuable that costs them nothing, and then they look to you as an expert. They look to you as a person that adds value. They want, they want you to supply them more information, more experience, more products, more services. So how are you bringing value to the, the situation you're in when you get negative <laughs> feedback? Or when you get feedback in general, how, how can you bring value to that situation? How do you bring value to a situation? Well, every situation is different and you just wanna make sure you're giving more than you're taking. So here's adventures and missions. When you get feedback, these are the three rules Caleb's operates by. Number one, it's not about you. People are not attacking your personal ego when they're giving you feedback. Number two, things are not what they seem. There's always something else behind the scenes. Don't jump to assumptions. Number three, you are the expert in the room. Make sure you're adding value because you know what? You should be adding value to every situation because you are a competent human being that is worth a lot. So that's it. Caleb's three rules of feedback. I'm about to go to work. I'll see you guys later. They say 2% milk. I don't know what the other 98% is.